Hello, this is Rich with WorkshopAddict.com. This is SketchUp tutorial number 11. I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, one method uh, you can use to draw some uh, complex shapes that you uh, normally couldn't do. And we're going to start off with a uh, simple version of what I'm talking about. And then we're going to uh, go in and show you a couple uh, practical applications for it. We just uh, drew a cylinder use the circle tool and did a pull. Let's uh, make a copy of that cylinder and uh, let's say we want to rotate it along. really doesn't matter because we're uh, drawing a uh, complex shape. I just want to kind of show you how it works. So we're going to rotate it in that direction. If we would take this last cylinder we drew and move it over here so it has uh, touched and went into that first cylinder. If we take and uh, highlight these, right click and go to intersect faces with model, these faces are now intersected. And we can go in here, let's delete that end of that circle on the other end and you can see all the way through it now. But we can delete that You'll notice we have our um, our second shaft on here, and if we go in and uh, delete that, we now have uh, a complex shape that would have been about impossible to uh, draw with uh, SketchUp the uh, other way. Um, you can do the same thing with uh, about anything. So let's uh, rotate the whole thing instead of just trying to uh, rotate the face. So we're going to rotate that a little bit and that a little bit. So now we've got it skewed there. We take and uh, move that into, into that shaft. Do the same thing intersect faces with model. We can go in here and we'll use our eraser tool this time and pick away at these uh, lines. I'm going to delete this and you will see that we have that indentation from that uh, square. So you can do a lot of different things. Angled planes, you can use uh, you know shafts and uh, squares and odd shapes and you know it all pretty much works the same. So, um, so that's uh, kind of how that works. You can do some uh, pretty cool stuff with that. Now I'm going to give you an example of a uh, practical application Here's an as-built drawing that I'm uh, working on for my house. Let's say I've got this on this upper deck. I've got uh, kind of an odd L-shaped deck. Corners are 45 off, but my boards are running at a 45 degree angle. To go in and draw all those boards across there would be a fair amount of work. An easier way to do it in this I also had to use the same thing on my siding. I actually have real like T111 siding that uh, is three-dimensional instead of a finish. So when I punched holes through it, I had to do something a little different. So we'll go out here and uh, I'm going to show you. I have drew a outline of, uh, of my deck, you know, where the boards would be. And what I can do is if I was going to draw boards, I would come in here and I would use my protractor and I'd go 45 degrees. And if I, if those boards were, say, 5.25 across and I wanted an eighth inch gap, 0.125, I now have, uh, you know, the layout of where my board's going to go. So I can start down here 
I'm going to go across and click on this inside one. I want to make sure I didn't get my eighth inch gap that I'm trying to put in there. And I'll go up here and click on that. And uh, so I guess I went too far. I got a little carried away there fast with my mouse. Come up to that intersection. And down here. And now we have a board that we could pull to three quarters of an inch thick. And we could uh, repeat that board along this direction. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to show you how that'll work. We covered that in a previous tutorial. But uh, we uh, really should group that so we don't have problems later. And then start the move and hit Control for a copy and come across here. And then I'm going to type, say, times 25. And now we've repeated 25 times across you know that board with our spacing and and uh, everything we wanted now we'd need to do it the other direction I'm going to do an undo here and uh, get rid of that we're going to delete our guides and I'm going to go over here and cheat lying over here in the side yard I've already got uh, I got my boards all made up oh, except they're not all in a group, so we're going to have to grab all of them. They're hovering across the ground, too. So, if we go in and uh, we grab these, we're going to zoom back out and come back over here and put this on top of that uh, that uh, template we had for that deck shape. You're probably wondering where I'm going with this. The uh, now I probably should have done that. It's a little hard to grab. Hard to grab the right deal now. Um, I'm going to yeah. See, I'm trying to grab all those boards. Let me back up. Let's. Uh, Let's go grab that again. This time we're going to be a little smarter about it. If you put things right on top of another, and these weren't all grouped together, so I couldn't easily grab it, it uh, makes it kind of kind of tough to get. We run under the grass there. Let's get back above ground. Come back over, find my template, which is right here. And since I've still got a hold of them, I'm going to move those up an inch straight up. So now it's easier to grab that template, select it on the bottom, and I'm going to push that thing right up through my boards. I'm going to delete the bottom out of it. Make sure I got just the bottom. And delete the top out of it. Well, got to make sure I'm only got the right stuff here. Let's back up. There we go. So now we've got just a, uh, you know, just a thin box all the way around there with no depth. And if we go in here and... Uh, Let's uh, explode this. Do it again. Make sure that everything's exploded, which it is, which it is. And we want to intersect faces with model. Now we can go in there and pick away the extra stuff. And sometimes, if you rotate around like this, you can get a lot of things at once. That bottom's only an inch down. It's going to be a little tougher to grab. But uh, we can go in, and now that those are all intersected, come in and uh, and grab those away, and trim 
trim the uh, sections away we don't want. This is kind of a cheap way to do it. I normally don't uh, use this unless I've got a lot of something that uh, that I'm uh, trying to uh, trying to do, and this uh, works uh, pretty good for that. So we got that, and this should be the end of it right here. So we ended up we've got all our boards, and you know they're laying at a 45. So instead of uh, drawing that all the way across, um, that uh, works pretty good. There may be other ways to do it, but I just found that that's a quick little, quick little shortcut for, for doing it. Another uh, place you can use that, we'll get rid of that. I'm going to come over here and out here laying in the backyard. I've got a piece of uh, molding uh, base uh, that uh, is the profile that I used in the house. If you were going to 45 that off to uh, meet another 45 corner, it would be pretty tough. Well, you can use that same method that we just used. Go down here on the bottom and uh, you need to make sure you stay on the right plane. Sometimes I'll just come up on the face and then I'll go down on the bottom and take a look at it. And As long as you go bigger than uh, your actual piece you're fine. So we can do 6 comma 6 and we should end up with a 6 inch square which we did. Now if we select that and we want to rotate it, we want to rotate it on this top face. Once again um, as in other tutorials I told you you can hold down your shift key and it will constrain that to that that axis, so we're on that blue axis. So if we come back here and click, go out here, set our reference point, and come back this direction and type 45, we now have a 45 degree plate, so to speak, across the end of that. Now, well, I got that thing right on my grass, too. Should move that up a little bit so, uh, so we don't have to mess with it. So if we move that up, and I'm going to explode it. Make sure that we're all exploded. There we got it again. And then use uh, use that uh, intersect faces with model. We should be able to go in here and do delete these unused uh, this unused part of it. Now it's going to be a little work because you'll notice that the the radius on this corner has got uh, quite a few um, parts to it. But if we go in there like this and delete those away, we could also rotate the drawing around and drag a window around it and hope not to uh, catch anything else. I'd mentioned that in a previous tutorial that you should save often because you never know where you're going to screw up at. I mean, uh, I've done that before, been doing something, and uh, and uh, deleted something in the background and really didn't know it. So, you know, as an example, if I spin this around, you know, if I was working here, I could be clicking on something and miss and not realize I missed and delete the garage door. I've come back later and found entire walls gone, you know, because I was dragging stuff like this and catching stuff in the background. So anyhow, back to uh, back to this. Erase that that and now we have a perfect uh, 45 degree miter on the end of that you know if we uh, we want to uh, 
set the materials the same. We can sample the materials and then, then do the end. And of course, when you're all said and done, you want to uh, you want to go back and select all of that and and uh, missed it there. Make group. So now it's uh, it's back in the group. But we do uh, we do have our uh, 45 degree end, and uh, that's just one way to uh, make complex shapes using uh, using uh, multiple shapes and this uh, intersect faces tool. So that's uh, that's it. This rich with uh, workshopaddict.com.